and welcome to the other half of the Juma team and it is a glorious afternoon. Honestly, it's turned into such a lovely day, the sun is shining and I would love to be doing exactly what that little terrapin is doing, sunbathing, basking in the sun, basking in all its glory. But good afternoon, my name is Lauren and I have Mr. BK on the camera and Miss Kalamba came back. Ah, she loves to hide her snacks and then of course come back for them. What a girl. So we've decided to start at Gauri Dam. The sun is glaring, it's almost slightly blinding on the water. Oh, beaks, look at the water monitor lizard just on the edge there. You see hanging all? Oh, yeah. You see him? Aha, uh -huh, camouflage. I actually didn't see him when we first arrived here. Reptile party. Mm-hmm, I bet you're happy. Why are the reptiles happy? Well, of course, they are cold bloody they depend on the ambient temperature and the sun to get their energy they're really really slow moving and they really struggle in cold temperatures they're not going to have that energy to escape a predator if it does come by so as i said she did make a, a steenbok kill um during this all this morning sometime it's up in the tree but She's fed on a little bit of it, not much, maybe like just the hindquarters. You'll just quickly take a look here in the tree. Beautiful weeping boor bean. And you can see it's been plucked. You can see a lot of the fur is off the steenbuck, off the kill. Typical with the leopards, so they will pluck the fur off before they start feeding on the carcass or on the kill itself. But yes, still a lot to go through there. What a way to start this afternoon's drive. Isn't this fantastic? <sighs> I'm definitely going to spend some time here with her for the day. I'm sure she might have been lying here somewhere this morning. You know, sometimes what they'll do, they'll uh, the leopards will hoist their kill into a tree, but most times they won't just go and lie directly below the kill itself. Sometimes they'll move into another little shady spot as long as they've got a view of the tree where the kill's in then they are very happy with that now she might have been lying around here this morning she's on a mission she's heading right to chitwa dam and actually this is my first time at chitwa since coming back hey beautiful girl you're so tiny She's such a small leopardess, especially in comparison to her brother, Shasha. I've not seen Shasha in a long time, but he was a big boy. Now we have got a surprise for you. It is a very, very long distance view, but we've finally done it. We want to introduce you to some cheetah cubs. They're not the easiest to see at the moment, unfortunately, but I'm hoping you can see mum. She's lying flat on her side, on the right-hand side of the bush. And if you can see a little thing moving on her left-hand side, that's a cheetah cub's little head. Hello, little baby. There's a crow in the background. She's made a kill next to the tree, although it's too far away for us to see what it is. We just know the crows are very interested in it. So one of the cubs is just to her left hand side. She's directly below that crow that you can see on the right, the bird hopping around. The one cub is just on her left hand side at her hip and the others are in the grass to the left. So you might see them pick their heads up every now and then. But this is wildly exciting. The first time any of us on the Wild Earth crew have seen the cheetah cubs. But uh, we've arrived to something even more spectacular. This whole family group of elephants just really gently drinking, which is nice. And some of you have seen elephants drinking. You'll know that sometimes they, they really can be quite messy drinkers. So just water goes everywhere. But other times like this, they're very neat and organized and it's just brilliant. We've been watching them for about five minutes or so and some of them was looking like they were moving off and we were starting to worry 
And then we saw in the, uh, the, the, the corner or the shoulder of the dam that more were coming. And then uh, they've all gone back to drink now, which is beautiful. amazing when you have a family group of elephants drinking like this you always get one that wants to drink all on its own and it looks like a young bull just on the right hand side there far side and seeming to want to drink in his own little spot over there <laughs> just beautiful but sometimes you will see that elephants sometimes will spread themselves out when they drink because sometimes, you know, they can disturb sediment and make things a bit murky in the water if they're too compacted. Other times, they just carry on. So obviously, this water is full of fresh, fresh water. We dream about these situations. You know, we dream about uh, just sitting here with a beautiful leopardess like this now and enjoy this time. All right, what do you think? Are you going to fool us again with your yawn, or are you going to get up now? She's looking, she's looking at the tree. Oh, is it? Is it there? There, there we go. Yay. We're finally getting something out of her, yeah? Kind of some little bit of a scratch there, and then... So there is another vehicle here, so I do apologize about the spotlight. So this is just for the other people to, for their guests to view this beautiful leopard. Hopefully she's not going to fall asleep while she's sitting up like that. Go up, if you're going to come into that little fork at the bottom. You'll see how, and you'll find, and you'll see how agile the leopard is. Watch, quick, quick. No effort at all. Yay, it all paid off. This is my first black-footed cat on the show. Too far for the Just too far for the infrared light. So you will see we've got the spotlight on. We do have the red filter on as well, so that we are being sensitive to the black-footed cat. I'm hoping you saw some of those spots because wow. Well, we will be out and about for our sunrise safari at 6:30 a.m. Central African time. If you want to come and join us for another epic safari. Please do, it's a pleasure having you with us and we love hearing from you, so keep sending in those questions and comments as well. Wherever you are in the world, have a fantastic evening or day, depending. We're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow morning on our sunrise safari. Bring us all the black-footed cat luck. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye. <laughs>